Two people walking and chatting, thinking, head scratching about something big that's just been happening. But on the road to Emmaus, from Jerusalem way, two become three as a new man says, Hey, hey, says he, you've been thinking and head scratching. Has something big just been happening? You've not heard about what's been happening? All of Jerusalem have been head scratching. What have I missed? Asks the man. I'd love to know. Please tell if you can. It's about a man called Jesus and we thought he was coming to rescue God's people and send the Romans off running. He did and he said loads of cool stuff from a place up north called Nazareth. He told great stories and he healed the sick. He knew people by name and what made them tick. Remember that wedding? He turned water to wine, brought his friend back to life and his friend felt just fine. He was sharing and caring. Just ask his friend Pete. He walked on the water with only his feet. He said shush to the storm and the storm was still. He did a miracle with bread and thousands were filled. Besides all this, his talk on a hill was full of wise teaching that people quote still. I can't believe it. What a big loss. A man so great who hung on a cross. And on that cross, that's where he died. I feel so tied up in knots inside. And three days have passed, though it feels more like 70, because now we've heard that his tomb is empty. That's right, you heard me. His body is gone. But who take his body? He never did wrong. You're confused, said the man, and seem out of the picture. So let me show you what it says in the scripture. It was always the plan, right from the start. Because Jesus loved you with all of his heart, he died on the cross, but rose from the tomb. He came back to life so you can live too. And as they were chatting and still head scratching, two of them stopped, but the third kept on walking. Hey, don't go, please, the two say. The sun's gone to bed, so why don't you stay? Good point, says the third. Day has turned to night. I'll stop over with you two and let's grab a bite. And as they sit down to eat, they close their eyes. He thanks God for the meal. Then, what a surprise. The two people stare and then rub their eyes. It's Jesus, not gone, but fully alive. And before they say seconds, there's more bread going round. Jesus just vanishes. He cannot be found. The two are left thinking and really head scratching. They had just been with Jesus. Something big was happening. We must say we've seen Jesus, so tie up your shoes. Quick, to Jerusalem. There's no time to lose. All along it was Jesus, the very same one. They'd been searching the scriptures with God's precious son. It's the biggest story that's ever been told about Jesus who's risen. It never gets old. The two met with Jesus in the most surprising way. They shared the story and we still share it today.